Heart of Mary. I wanted to share a little bit with you about my favorite saint, Louis de Montfort. He is a 1700 saint who had a great mission to spread the love of Mary so in turn people would know her son more deeply and more dearly. He had a great zeal and he shared with the poor. That's where his heart was. Well, at some point, bishops started to become concerned and um, they started to put a stop to the work that he was doing. And so St. Louis would hear none of it and he strapped on his shoes and he took a, a thousand mile walk to the Vatican met with the Pope and was actually um, given the title of Apostolic Missionary and was able to serve the rest of his life living out his mission, which is such a blessing to all of us. Now St. John Paul II in turn at seminary was struggling with the whole idea of devotion to the Blessed Mother and came upon St. Louis de Montfort's book, True Devotion. And in True Devotion he was completely inspired and found that in turn loving the Blessed Mother only meant loving Jesus more. And uh, so much beauty came from that, including his um, motto, which is totus tuus, which is totally yours, as well as the beautiful luminous mysteries of the rosary. So talk about inspiration. So St. Louis de Montfort continued on with his beautiful mission work and found himself um, just really being um, inspired more and more by spreading this message and at some point he became sick and he be he um, found himself on his deathbed and this has always inspired me I think this is so cool he um, he people would hear uh, from outside of the room him talking to the devil and he said Mary's on one side and Jesus is on the other and you cannot get me anymore I am I am free this is it get away devil and that was always so amazing to me so through this beautiful saint we also have total consecration to Jesus through Mary which is something that we do here we we encourage people to do because it is such again another beautiful devotion to Mary to her son which is completely lovely and um, I just want to encourage you to, to check it out. 33 Days to Morning Glory is a great book. There's also a total consecration book by the Montfort Brothers in honor of St. Louis de Montfort as well. So I hope you're encouraged by this. I have found um, that this work that we do at Heart of Mary Women's Fellowship couples very beautifully with the work of St. Louis de Montfort. I'll read um, different excerpts of um, his work and I feel like we are completely in tune and that in the spirit of St. Louis de Montfort we are united side by side walking this journey of life together that not only helps us to feel close to the mother of God but brings us right to the feet of Jesus Christ. So I wish you all a beautiful day and um, check him out. Find find even more about this beautiful saint. Um, oh one final thing. So my son-in-law uh, actually took the words of some of St. Louis, Louis's words from True Devotion and wrote a song for me because I had asked him if he would do that. I was really inspired by that book. So um, this is how it goes. She is hidden in my heart, a place where only love resides. My soul knows treasure at her source, always leading me to Christ. And as I open up my heart to her, the Holy Spirit rushes in. She is hidden in my heart. The King, my son, reaches me there. Thirst no longer, heaven opens, fountains flow. And I am free again. And as I open up my heart to her, the Holy Spirit rushes in. So that's called Heaven's Queen, and you can hear the whole song on our consecration page. And it is actually the meditation to our 33-day devotions. Um, you can hear it every day for 33 days, along with a, one of our spiritual directors wrote beautiful meditations. So God bless you all, everyone. To Jesus through Mary, Michelle Workman. Bye.